Okay, let's see how long this one stays on YouTube before they block it on copyright. This is footage that many of you will not have seen before if you've not got F1 TV. And it's audio you probably won't have heard from the 2021 British Grand Prix. So let's have a look what's going on and let's talk you through it. I'll try and play bits where you can get to see things. But a lot of this I'm going to have to hide, hide actually the visuals because there's a better chance of it remaining on YouTube for longer if... I'm not playing their footage, but there's bits you actually need to see. So here we go. Okay, this is before Cops. This is lap one, Silverstone. Look at where Hamilton is now. So he's gone down the outside. Fully overtaken. Okay, fully overtaken, Max. Got the right to the inside of this corner now. Got the right to go across to the apex. What does he do? He knows that... Young Maxwell never yields. So what happens? Sees Max coming up the inside. Stays wide. Gives him the space. Okay, so let's just go through that bit again. Yep, passed him by that point. We'll go through Max's camera there. But Max doesn't give up, does he? Sends it up the inside. That's okay, apparently. So we carry on. Going to have to um, just uh, keep pausing it just because I can't play continuous footage. So we're now approaching cops. Look at what Max does in terms of weaving and trying to run Lewis out of room. Okay, look at where we are. The apex is the point of the corner whereby you are unwinding your steering. Okay, that's the effectively the midpoint of the corner where you are changing your steering angle to drive out of the corner. So that apex of this corner is not the curbing. OK, let's be clear. This is called curbing. The apex is mid corner where you're then adjusting your steering angle, steering out of the corner. All right. Now, where is Lewis Hamilton at the moment? Is Lewis Hamilton's trajectory on course for hitting this curbing? Yes, it is. OK. Has he got a right to be where he is? Yes, he has. Is he decelerating in order to make that corner? Yes, he has. Just like what you've just seen, where Lewis was on the outside, knowing that Max was on the inside. What did Lewis do? Did Lewis chop across the nose of Max Verstappen? Or did Lewis look in his mirror, realise that there was a car there and maintained a wider line around that corner? Now, strap on fanboys. Don't say, yeah, but this is a different corner. This is a different corner. Doesn't matter. The rules of engagement apply wherever you are. Whichever track around the world you're racing at, whichever corner at whichever track, these are the same principles of motor racing. OK, so does Max leave Lewis room? Or was he just in a trot chop straight across his nose? Bang, across there. And in doing so, what he's done, here's rear tyres connected with Lewis's front. Lewis had to, to uh, absorb the shock of that through his steering wheel and counter steer to prevent himself going into a spin. And in counter steering, that drifts Lewis's line away from the curbing. That is what happens. I've done a frame by frame of that in a previous video, and that proves exactly what happens. Max cut across Lewis's line. Lewis was entirely entitled to be where he was. He was on the inside going into that corner. The car on the outside had two, three car widths to his left hand side. And rather than stay wide and allow room for the car on the inside, he decided he wanted to chop across that car and try and shut that car out. That is what happened. So um, let's just 
Lewis, then what? Loses a place. Lewis loses a position due to Max Verstappen crashing into Lewis Hamilton. Now, I need you to listen to the audio. And to do that, uh, what I'm going to do is play this, but just scroll the screen down. So you won't be able to see so much, um, but I'm going to play this footage on and hopefully it won't get blocked. I got damage. We're ready for you in the box. The safety car, safety car, keep the delta positive. Let's know what you need. Just turned in on me. I don't know, Bono. I mean, the car's still turning. Okay, copy. But there's definitely something missing, I don't know. So is that an authentic human reaction? You're driving around a, a motor racing track, 150, 200 miles an hour. Somebody does something mad like that. And do you not think that uh, is upsetting? Do you not think it gets the pulse racing? Because it kind of does. So you can hear that heavy breathing from Lewis Hamilton that this, he's trying to race in a motor race Okay, he's trying to engage in a sport, and that then happens. Put yourself in that situation. Somebody's driving like a madman, right, being willing to chop across you when you're doing ridiculous speed. You know what the consequence of that could be. And they then they try and blame you for it. So see if Valtteri can have a look. But to staying out at the moment. Staying out. Valtteri cannot overtake. Staying out. Staying out. So, I think the car's okay. Yeah. And we'll have a look. Yeah, 10 car lengths. Just remember 10 car lengths. Uh, definitely like left wing or something. Yeah, we don't think there's anything major at the moment. How is the head going in there, man? Yeah, copy Lewis. Fully alongside, it's my line. Which he was. Going into the breaking point of that corner, Hamilton had the inside line, was fully alongside, pretty much fully, fully alongside. He was more than halfway alongside, and that's the key. And it was a corner he became then entitled to. But rather than yield for that corner, Verstappen doesn't. He always stays on the gas or doesn't break in time and stays on it. Every single time. That's not acceptable driving. That's dangerous. And other drivers are aware that's dangerous. Hence, they just jump out of his way because they don't want to be involved in collisions either. I lost a wing. So we don't think there's any major damage. So red flag, a red flag. So we'll be coming into the pit lane and we'll be staying in the fast lane. Yeah, you 
turned in on me, man. Yeah, copy that, Lucio. Just reviewed the video. There's a big hit on the left front, so do a good check. Yeah, copy. So you're coming in the pit lane, you're staying in the fast lane. Is Max okay? Uh, he's out of the car. So, when the adrenaline levels have dropped a little bit, when he's managed to... He's clearly shaken. He's then going, okay, is the guy all right? That's somebody's character. Giving that guy space. Yes, you did give the guy space because I'm just going to replay the bit where you did give the guy space. Here we go. So we're back here. Watch Lewis Hamilton's hands on his steering wheel. Okay, watch his hands on his steering wheel. pause it okay now at this point in time you'd think you should be turning to make it around that left hand corner okay now we'll compare that we'll go over here and we'll go to Maxwell Verstappen's camera and we'll rewind okay so we're at the start of this straight What's going to happen now? Oh, so did Lewis's back tyre come level with Max's front tyre? Okay, so again, Lewis, as the car that was behind, had got passed by half a car length. Okay, this is the corner where you need to be hitting the brakes for, Max. There's a car ahead of you. Remember Brazil? Well, you didn't hit the brakes either, and you just kept going straight across the other side of the track and off the track. Yeah, your your standard MO. Oh, he's glanced in his mirror. You can see he's there. Okay, now look at Max's months. Oh, so it's only there where we actually put the lock in. So we're well past the uh, apex of the corner. So we over overshoot the corner, run the other car out of space. That's okay, is it? Glanced in his mirror again. What's he doing along here? Oh, squeezing Lewis against the wall. Now moving out to the left so that he can get a better line around the corner. But Lewis is still there up the inside. Let's see if we can do it. I need to do that as a frame by frame. So I'll do another video of this frame by frame. Because what we can't see is the actual... Max's steering inputs. Okay, look at him. He's looking in the rear view mirror, seeing Lewis there. He's then going to squeeze over to the right hand side of the track. Okay, that's not standard. They're usually far more over here, but Max has tried to squeeze him out of room. Now, okay. There's a car on your inside, Max. You've got to give that car space. Look at the space to your left-hand side. Plenty. Plenty of space to keep wide round that car, round that corner. Now, if you can't make that corner at that speed by leaving space on the inside for a car, do you know what you need to do, Max? You need to slow down. You can't carry that level of speed 
if you need to take a wider line around that corner. So it's your responsibility to slow yourself down. Do you slow down sufficiently? No. Okay, because that's the point of impact. Apex, you're talking about here is the apex. This all happens well before. Oh, Lewis didn't hit the apex. The, this is this is the language that the strap-on fanboy will think that they know something about motor racing with. Oh, I think that it's the, the apex. Look, you don't understand, do you? The impact takes place before the curbing of the corner starts. Because Max tried to chop across his opponent and shut the other guy out. Now, why am I doing this video now? I'll tell you exactly why I'm doing this video now. Christian Horner incited hatred for his vilification of Sir Lewis Hamilton for this event. I'm going to go on and show you these videos of exactly what he was guilty of. So when he's under investigation right now for misconduct, this is what Horner should be investigated for. So the barrister that Red Bull have tasked for this investigation. I want you to check and do your thorough investigation to decide whether Christian here is guilty of inciting hatred, vilifying somebody completely wrongly. Anyway, that's one to come. See you in a bit.